In today's lecture, we will solve a problem in Go Back N ARQ. Let's start the session with the outcomes. Upon the completion of this session, the learner will be able to understand the working of Go Back N ARQ by solving a problem that was asked in Gate Computer Science in the year 2006. If you are directly watching this lecture without watching my previous lecture, I request you to watch my previous lecture titled Go Back N ARQ. In the previous lecture, I have discussed about the basics and the working principle of Go Back and ARQ, which is required for solving this problem. Let's go into the problem now. The question is Station A needs to send a message consisting of 9 packets to Station B using a sliding window of window size 3 and Go Back and N error control strategy. All packets are ready and immediately available for transmission. If every fifth packet that A transmits gets lost, but no acknowledgements from B ever get lost, then what is the number of packets that A will transmit for sending the message to B? Please pause this video for a while and read this question again. I hope you are done. Now we will find out what are the key points that are there. There is a message that is containing 9 packets or 9 frames from sender A to sender B and the flow control mechanism is sliding window of the window size to be 3. So n is equal to 3. And the go back n error control strategy is mentioned here. So generally this go back n is a sliding window protocol that is a flow control protocol and is an error control protocol as well. Every fifth packet that station A transmits gets lost, but no acknowledgement is getting lost. So important things are 9 packets, window size is equal to 3, it's a go back N flow control and error control strategy, and finally, every fifth packet that station A transmits gets lost. Let's see how many packets that A is transmitting to B. That is what the question is. And options are given. Option A, 12. Option B 14, Option C 16 and Option D 18. Let's solve this problem now. We understood there is a sender that is station A and there is a receiver that is station B. In the question how many frames or packets that is mentioned? So in the question it is mentioned as there are 9 packets. So we assume that there are 9 frames. We have assigned the frame numbers or packet numbers in a sequential order like 1, 2, 3 up to 9. And what is the window size that is mentioned in the question? The window size is 3. Window size is equal to 3 means the sender is going to send 3 packets and it won't send any packet before getting the acknowledgement for the first packet after sending 3 packets. Let's see what the sender does. The sender is going to send the first packet. And what about the window here? The window, the sliding window is currently in the frame or the packet 1. But the sender can transmit 3 frames without expecting an acknowledgement because the window size is 3 here. So sender is going to send packet number 2 and packet number 3. Now what the receiver does? It sends the acknowledgement for the first packet. When the acknowledgement is received for the first packet, what the sender does? It sends the next packet which is available in the buffer. The next readily available packet for transmission is 4. So the sender is going to send packet number 4. Now after sending the packet number 4, what the sender does? It knows packet 4 was sent and it slides the window because 1 was already acknowledged and the present window has packet number 2, 3 and 4. Now what the receiver does? It sends acknowledgement for packet number 2. Yes, now the acknowledgement is also received by the sender. If we observe, the receiver will be able to get packet number 1, 2, 3 and 4 but not packet number 5 because in the question it is mentioned as every fifth packet will be lost. So packet number 5, packet 10, 15, 20, all these packets that are sent by the sender will be lost. But sender is unaware of this information. Why? Because the role of a sender is it will send the packet whatever it has in the buffer but the sender doesn't know whether that packet has reached or not without getting any acknowledgement from the receiver. Now let's see the progress of this problem. Now the acknowledgement number 2 has been received by the sender. What the sender does? It sends the next packet in the buffer. In the buffer we have packet number 5. So the sender sends packet number 5 to the receiver and it slides this window. 
So if you observe, now packet 5 is sent and the window is getting slider and now the current window is having packet numbers 3, 4 and 5. What the receiver now does? It sends acknowledgement for packet number 3 because packet 3 is not getting lost in this case. Every fifth packet only is getting lost. So obviously packet 3 should be acknowledged by the receiver. Now packet 3 is acknowledged. What the sender will do now? It takes the next available packet in the buffer and it is packet number 6 and sender sends packet number 6 to the receiver. After sending the 6th packet, the sender slides its window like this. Now the current window will be having packets 4, 5 and 6. What the receiver now does? It acknowledges packet number 4 because packet 4 is not lost. So it is acknowledging for packet number 4. It's now the turn of the sender. The sender now takes packet number 7 in its buffer and sends that packet to the receiver. After sending packet number 7, the sender slides its window like this. Now the current window is having packet number 5, 6 and 7. It is the turn of the receiver to acknowledge packet number 5 but in the question it is mentioned that packet number 5 is lost because in the question it was mentioned like every fifth packet whatever the sender transmits it's getting lost. Now let's see how many packets the sender has sent. It's packet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 packets it has sent so far and this fifth packet will be lost and hence a receiver will not acknowledge for this packet. So we can understand that the fifth packet is lost and receiver will not acknowledge for this. So sender will be waiting for a certain period of time and acknowledgement obviously will not be received by the sender for that packet. As per the GoBack NARQ protocol, the next frame to be transmitted is 8 but the sender has not received acknowledgement for frame number 5. So what it does? So it retransmits all the frames or packets that are available in the current window. In the current window we have 5, 6 and 7. So sender will be transmitting packet number 5, 6 and 7 again. At the same time receiver will reject or discard this packet. Why? Because it has encountered that there is no frame number 5 or packet number 5 received by the receiver. So whatever it is there in the buffer the receiver will discard. So receiver obviously will be discarding frame number 6 and frame number 7. In other words packet number 6 and packet number 7. Now the retransmission happens in the sender side. Now the sender will retransmit the entire window. Whatever it is there in the current window it will retransmit. So it will retransmit packet number 5, packet number 6 and packet number 7. If you observe in the timeline diagram there are no data in the receiver's buffer and these are the data that is presently available that is 5, 6 and 7. Since the window size is 3, now it's the turn of the receiver to acknowledge frame number 5. Why? Because the window size is 3 here, the packet number 6 and 7 will be discarded by the receiver because it encountered a packet loss in the previous case. Now what is the number of transmissions? Just observe this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this will be lost which we have seen here 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. 10 means this is like every fifth packet will be lost. So obviously the seventh packet will also be lost because that is what is mentioned in the question. Every fifth packet whatever the sender transmits it will be lost. So in this case don't assume like packet number 10 will be lost. In this case 6 and 7 already it was transmitted so it is counted into account. Again the sender is transmitting 5, 6 and 7. So obviously this is the 10th packet the sender is transmitting. Now let's see how the solution is progressing. Now it's the turn of the receiver to acknowledge frame number 5. Now receiver has acknowledged frame number 5 that is packet number 5. Previously it was lost now it was received because this packet is not the 5th packet. After getting the acknowledgement from the receiver, the sender now sends the next packet which is available for transmission. The next packet which is available for transmission is packet number 8. So sender now sends packet number 8. After sending, it will be obviously sliding this window like this. Now in the current window we have packets number 6, 7 and 8. Now the receiver will be acknowledging packet number 6. Now when it acknowledges packet number 6, now the sender sees what's the next available frame for transmission. Sender finds it is packet number 9. So it sends packet number 9 to the receiver. And 
the sender slides this window like this and now the current window will be having packet 7, 8 and 9. After sending packet number 9, what the receiver has to do? It has to acknowledge packet number 7. But unfortunately, this packet number 7 is the 10th packet it is sent. If you observe, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 which was lost already, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. As mentioned in the question, every fifth packet will be lost. So in this case, packet number 7 will also be lost. And what the receiver does? It has packet number 8 and 9 in the buffer. It will discard all the packets in the buffer that is 8 and 9 and it won't send any acknowledgement to the sender. Sender is waiting for the acknowledgement for packet number 7. But unfortunately, sender is not getting acknowledgement for packet number 7. After sender times out, what the sender has to do? It has to retransmit whatever is there in the current window. What is there in the current window? It is 7, 8 and 9. Meanwhile, what the receiver does? It rejects packet number 8 and packet number 9. Now, let the retransmission happen. As per the go back end strategy, it is going back to 7 now. Why? Because that is what the starting frame in the current window. So, go back to 7. After going back to 7, the sender will send frame number 7. Now frame number 8 is sent and frame number 9 is sent. If you observe, up to this point, there was nothing in the buffer. Now 3 data, 3 packets are collected. 1, 2 and 3. Now what the receiver has to do? It has to acknowledge for frame number 7. It will acknowledge. Why? Because this is not the 5th packet or 10th packet or 15th packet. This is the 13th packet. If you observe, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is the 13th packet. For 13th packet, it can acknowledge because 13th packet will not be lost as per the question. So, it is acknowledging for 13th packet and what the sender does? It got the acknowledgement. It has to send the next available frame in the buffer. But there is no frame in the buffer. So, what the sender does? It slides the window. Now, there are only two frames in the window, that is 8 and 9. Now, what the receiver will do? It is not getting any more data. Receiver is now acknowledging packet number 8. Packet number 8 is the 14th packet as per the sender. Once the receiver acknowledges packet number 8, there will be no data in the buffer and the sliding window should move towards 9. So, once the acknowledgement for packet number 8 is received, you could observe that the sliding window is now moved and it is having only packet number 9. Now the receiver has to acknowledge packet number 9. But unfortunately, this is the 15th packet. If you observe, every 5th packet is getting lost. So this is packet number 5, this is 10 and this is the 15th packet. When the 15th packet is lost, what the sender has to do? It has to retransmit the entire frames in the current window. The current window, it has only packet number 9. So, it retransmits packet number 9 alone. Meanwhile, the receiver will reject or discard all the packets in its buffer, but the receiver has no data in its buffer. The receiver got packet number 9 and now it is sending acknowledgement for packet number 9. Now, the entire packets have been transmitted. Now, what is the question? It was asked, how many packets that station A, that is the sender, has transmitted? We will just count this. This is what the solution for this problem. Packet number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 which was lost. But still it has sent. As per the sender, it has sent packet number 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 which will be lost but still it is counted for the sender because it has transmitted that. 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15th packet it would be lost but still sender will count it. And 16. So, how many packets the sender has transmitted to the receiver that is station A has transmitted to station B? 16 packets. The number of packets transmitted by sender A is 16. In the question, this is the answer for this question. I hope now you understood how to solve this problem. You try this manually, take the same problem, have a paper and a pen in front of you, try solving this entire problem as like I did. You will get a clear understanding only when you solve this. But there is a shortcut for doing this problem. But in this lecture, I have explained the formal way of solving this problem. In the next lecture, we will see how to solve this problem using shortcuts. 
I hope now you understood the working of go back and ARQ by just solving a problem that was asked in gate 2006. I hope you guys enjoyed the session and thank you for watching.